Hey everybody, welcome back to Semper Grazing Ranch. Sorry we've uh, taken a hiatus from making so many videos for YouTube. Uh, most of our videos we post on Facebook. But I wanted to show you guys how we rotate the sheep. We posted uh, one of our most successful videos three or four years ago. Um, rotating um, sheep and goats with electric fence. We still do that same basic principle, just on a bigger scale today, and it's much easier to see. We are standing in what the sheep were uh, just in for the last day and a half, two days, and we have flipped the fence that they were in over. And the way we're able to do that is with a net fence. We use our worst quality fence um, that we have not patched up yet as a temporary. We make a U shape on the edge, outer edge of a perimeter where they were. We move them in. They are driven by hunger. They know the drill. They know going under the fence, which isn't a good habit, but our sheep aren't getting out right now, so we don't mind. Going under the fence leads them to new pasture. And you can see them uh, not wanting to test our temporary fence. We don't have it electrified. They're just wanting to eat. Becca over here is going to start moving the temporary fence and all the sheep know to start following her because they're going to get out and get out the rest of the uh, paddock. So this is a really important time. You can keep watching this. Okay. Um, this is a really important time because while Becca's moving this and trying not to get the sheep tangled, she's also looking to see if any of our sheep are limping. Now we have two youngsters. These are ewe lambs who are confused. I know they're ewe lambs because they have tags. Um, we tag our sheep with a different color every year according to what ran they came out of in the year. Uh, they're just not quite as used to that routine yet if they didn't go right behind an experienced you. But anyway, this is how we're able to so uh, accurately graze the sheep up and down our rows of fruit trees in the orchard. Our entire pasture back here is a giant spaced out orchard. Uh, right now, I think my last count, we have around 300 trees between nuts and fruit trees. We also, uh, on that, what do we have, about 15 acres back here, have not lost a single iota of pasture production. In fact, I want more trees. Um, the way we have these trees spaced out is um, only going to help the pasture and help provide shade for the sheep, all the while giving us another crop to stack. But anyway, so Becca is now going to go and set up this temporary fence on the far side, getting ready for the move on today, Saturday, so the move on Monday. These sheep will eat everything in here um, tonight into tomorrow morning, and then we will feed them hay tomorrow morning and afternoon. Now. If you move your sheep, your animals, livestock, cattle, goats, sheep, whatever have you, always try, if you can, to move them in the afternoon. The plant's sugar content increases the longer the sun is up. And by weight, protein will not decrease a, um, the exact opposite amount that sugar increases. So you have more... Um, total nutrition by moving them in the afternoon just by taking advantage of the sun. If you look down, our solar panel is not as efficient because they ate the solar panel. But if you look over here where it has not been grazed yet, you can see remnants of ragweed. In the coming years that'll uh, become less and less. But there's a whole lot of green grass still processing the sun's energy. And that's what we want. You always want to keep your solar panel as efficient as possible. Now, Jay, if you scan back over here, 
You never want to leave your pasture this short in the growing season. We are um, kind of shortchanging ourselves by leaving it this short in the winter time, but come spring, it will come back faster because the sun can warm up the soil that much faster. Ideally though, if we had better pasture, as we're still in the process of establishing it, we bought this farm one year ago and it was row crops. Um, I wanna say uh, 14 months ago, they harvested the soybeans off. But ideally you want to go into winter with taller pasture and then eat the, everything else off at the end of winter. So that way the sun can warm up the soil at the end, but you still had a blanket to protect it against extreme cold for most of the winter. Um, we do not have enough pasture right now, so we are taking a hit and we understand what we're doing, um, but it's good for the long run. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, please, please comment on these videos. Um, and if you like our videos, you like what we're doing, you think someone could be helped out by our videos, uh, share our YouTube channel, share our Facebook page, Semper Grazing Ranch, um, like and share the videos. You guys take care. Thank you.